Welcome to this ESC interview. My name is David Wood. Um, I'm Professor of Cardiovascular Medicine at Imperial College London. And I'm very pleased to welcome my guests, Dr. Haralambos Antoniades uh, from uh, Greece. And he was one of the successful ESC Grant Award winners in 2009. What first attracted you to the idea of research? Well, I was... Um always um, uh, open-minded. Uh, as a medical student, I was doing research in Athens. Then uh, when I graduated in 2000, I started immediately my PhD studies in the University of Athens in parallel with my clinical training. Um, and um, I finished my PhD in uh, 2004. And what was your, the, the subject of your PhD? What did you write your thesis on? Yes, it was. Um, my PhD was focused on the role of the genetic regulation of endothelial nitric oxide synthase and how could that affect uh, premature myocardial infarction in Greek patients. What attracted you to the ESC grant award scheme? Yes, well, I um, attended the ESC congresses every year uh, consistently since 2001. Uh, so I was exposed to this idea of the ESC grants and the ESC fellowships very early on. And when uh, I finished my clinical training in Athens in 2009, I decided that I wanted to continue to do some uh, further research in my field in a um, uh, prestigious institution like the University of Oxford. And that's how I decided to apply for an ESC fellowship. Okay, and so one of the features of these research fellowship awards is that you have to study in another country, in, in, in an institution in another uh, country. So how did you go about deciding where you wanted to, uh, to further your research career? Well, that's uh, the beauty of the ESC grants and the ESC fellowships. So you have to move to another country and this is uh, really the idea behind the grants. Uh, I had my first contacts with uh, the University of Oxford and the group of, group of Professor Keith Channel there uh, since uh, 2004, immediately when I started my clinical career as a registrar in Athens. And, and how did that contact come about? Well, uh, we had the first contact um, in a Congress uh, some time ago when uh, we talked about research and uh, uh, we talk about uh, how I wanted to perform some uh, in-depth studies in Eno's regulation because we were in the same field. So you introduced yourself to him yes. and you yes. talked about the work yes. you were yes. doing and so on. Um, but that was long before you applied yes, for one of the... that was in 2004, a long time ago. Yes, okay. And then you completed your PhD and applied for one of these um, research fellowships. And that's when you renewed your acquaintance yes. with, with, uh, with Keith Chan. So these fellowships are for one year and uh, what happened at the end of your year? So at the end of that year I ended up um, uh, accepting an invitation of the University of Oxford to stay there initially as um, an, um, a principal investigator through a BHF, British Heart Foundation Intermediate Fellowship. So you actually won new research funding through the, through the British Heart Foundation? Exactly, exactly. And, and how long was that funding for? The funding is for four years, initially, and um, after the first year I was able to um, become a consultant in the General Hospital, and now I practice cardiology in the General Hospital as well. Very good. A very, uh, a very nice example of a very successful academic career. So, thank you very much indeed and uh, uh, it's very nice of you to share your experiences of the ESC research fellowship scheme thank you very much okay